The gates are closed and the signs are clear, warning people to stay away as there are dangerous animals inside. But there may be other reasons that visitors are not welcome here. This is just one of several controversial farms across China that has a permit to breed rhinos ostensibly for research purposes. These are live rhinos that are coming from South Africa and they're coming into China to be bred in captivity so that the horn can be shaved from them and potentially in the future put into commercial trade here in China. A trade that is illegal. China is one of the signatories to an international treaty drawn up in 1973 to protect wildlife against exploitation that could threaten their survival. The traditional Chinese medicine believes rhino horns are a cure-all for everything from headaches to cancer. And despite the ban, this hidden camera video taken by conservationists shows that rhino horns are still available on the back shelves of traditional pharmacies. The Chinese government did take some very important steps by banning the domestic trade in rhino horns, so they need to be commended for that. Uh, but the problem is that another branch of the government is at the same time giving out permits to import rhinos to do this sort of pharmaceutical research. So it sends a, a mixed message, really, and that's something that we'd like to see stop. Live rhinos are still being imported into China, and breeders maintain that their interests lie in protecting them. They say they have already found a way to cut off the animal's horns without costing them their life. But they have yet to prove that claim. In 2011, Hong Kong Customs seized $2 million worth of rhino horn and ivory, the largest ever such seizure. But there were no immediate arrests. For its part, the mainland government hasn't been seen to be serious about cracking down on illegal traders. And as demand remains high, there is little discouraging breeders from making rhino horns available on the black market. Conservationists say the current system exploits loopholes in the international treaty and circumvents the ban on illegal trade. Until China's government takes more definite action and people find alternatives to traditional remedies, there is little assuring the rhino's safety. Margot Tigas, Al Jazeera, Hong Kong.